Welcome back, everybody. The Grand Tactician, Civil War. I'm Grand Grandpa Gaming, and this is episode 43 of our Federal Spring of 61 campaign. So, uh, nothing new for the historical record this episode, so we're going to go straight into the recap. So, uh, as you saw at the end of that last episode, I pointed out that uh, all of my Corps were under strength now due to everybody's contracts coming up, except for the 8th Corps, which still had their Soul Division in it. Uh, we're still waiting on the troops to return. They will not be back. The first of the units will be arriving within the last week of March. The last of the units won't be coming back until the first week of April, which is perfect because then we can get the spring offensive kicked off basically on time. A little out of position. A bit out of position, but we will have the offensive kicked off in time. And having to backtrack a little bit down here with 6th quarter, we take Baton Rouge. So, well, we did have a big fight here. Mar not a big fight, but an annoying fight at Marietta where the rebels engaged us but did not want to fight us. And my troops just got exhausted trying to chase them down around the battlefield, which actually caused us to have more casualties than we really should have. But uh, we did finally see them off. Uh, it's still quite along the Potomac line. And their numbers have actually reduced again, it looks like. So it's going to be easy to punch through these units during the spring offensive. So I have all these corps sitting out down here in southern Indiana, which I'll be taking care of with first corps when they are back up the strength. And uh, second corps has now been pushed back to Little Rock, which is not too far from their initial start positions. They originally should have been over here at Vernon, but they got Robertson following up behind them. Now back up to 1,900 men in the corps. So they are starting to see some of their troops come back. The Danish lifeguards had returned. Not to strengthen up, though. The brigade's coming back in 13 days, 9 days. Okay. Some of these brigades are a little closer to home than some of the others. It really depends on how far away from home they are there. Uh, so we're getting back. Like the Cyclone Blacksmiths will be back in 3 days, so that's good. Won't have a lot of men in the army, but I'd be willing to fight 14,000 men with 6,000. I'll do that. And our fleets are actually still refitting. Gulf Squadron is still refitting. I'm waiting for all of its ships to get repaired and back in the water before I do anything else with it. And I didn't cover it in the episode, but we did have a big naval engagement with the Atlantic Squadron. And we did disintegrate one of the rebel fleets in the area. There's still three left. But we are now down to four ships in the Atlantic Squadron. So I had to pull some out for repairs and one more was sunk. And these three are actually ready to go now. Got them back in the fleet. And I'm building two ironclad river boats also. I don't think I've ever put that out. They are almost complete. And they're going to go join the Mississippi Squadron because those timberclad boats just didn't have the punching power. And they've been having issues down on the Mississippi. So I do need to upgrade their firepower. And that's what those two are for. Looks like the two wood clads that were getting repaired are ready to go. Back in the fleet. So I really haven't been covering the naval action as much as I have been, but uh, I had so many months of waiting in between some points here that some of the actions happened without me even noticing because I was just letting the game run. All right, I think that covers everything for right now, so I will be back with the next major incident. All right, so now February 28th. We've only moved the game two days on. And we do have our next action here up outside of Frederick with... Uh, Walker's Corps, Army of Virginia, Army of Virginia, its headquarters, Fulkerson's Corps, Army of Maryland, and B. Jr.'s Corps, Army of Maryland. So this really shows you how much they've denuded the strength in the area. Each of these corps used to have over 30,000 men in them. Each one. Now all three together have 11,283 men, 4,100 cavalry, and 27 guns. And they are attacking 4th Corps, which combined with 3rd will have 17,912 infantry, 2,900 cavalry, and 69 guns. 4th Corps alone has 12,889 men. So we're going to be a little under strength from the Rebels, but that's not going to make much of a difference as 4th Corps is one of my battle-hardened units. And also the Lieutenant General Act did just pass, and uh, Winfield Scott got the rank. 
computer picks who gets it, and Winnie Scott is not a lieutenant general, sadly. My character did not get the rank. I'm going to go jump into this fight, and I'll see you on the other side of the load screen. Welcome, my grunts, to the sixth battle of Frederick. Uh, we are on the Antietam map, and we are defending Prize Ford and Prize Mill. We're way back here. Where are the rebels coming in from? Down here. Ooh, that gives us an opportunity. Working from here and here, they probably use this road also, but they're crossing at these two points. But they may be deployed forward of them also. Oh, where was frozen? Completely, solidly. Okay, I was hoping to stop them at the crossing points, but even the Potomac is completely frozen over. 28 degrees with a snowstorm. Hmm. I'm thinking I want to meet them outside of town. All the way down here. I want to meet them outside of town. I don't want to fight back here. I want to fight up here. Wealth Division, your three brigades. Put us right on the road, get us moving as quick as possible. Got my 14th Division with its two brigades. And 13th's only got the one for right now. Got one cavalry brigade. I'm hoping we can stop them pretty quickly and fight it out over here if we can. I'd rather catch them out here in these open fields than anything else. It's already 12 18, so we don't have too much daylight left. Let's get the cavalry orders immediately. Can't get them out here. Go over to that fence line. I'd like to get all my troops down along this fence line here. If I can going to be a lot of double time. And we'll get this map rolling. I'll come back once we have contact with the Rebels. All right, it's now 1316, and we do have our first Rebel sighted. That's uh, Brown's Brigade of Walker's Corps. Followed up by Pryor's Brigade. So they are just starting to cross over the river. Could possibly have some crossing down here too, but my troops are starting to move, in, move into position at the defense line I picked out. So once again, waiting for the artillery to get their heads out of their asses. Uh, definitely was able to move up. I could have moved, probably could have gotten closer to the river, but there's no way to stop them from crossing with it being frozen. They can cross wherever the hell they damn well please should do is mount you boys up and pull you back a little further probably back to this fence line we don't need to delay them anymore as the infantry has moved into position it's really more matter waiting for the artillery to come up vanguard not really a good spot there you over here on the edge of that wall. This brigade. Yep. Guess they caught up to the guy before they got the order to pull. Whoa, who's wounded already? Richardson, commander of Pennsylvania Guards, already wounded. Alright, guys, move out the canter, please. The first shot from their skirmishers took out the. <laughs> Pennsylvania Guards Commander, you gotta be kidding me. It does appear we slowed them out a little bit. They started pushing out into battle line. Right off the bat, we lose a Brigade Commander. That is not a good sign. That is not a good sign at all. This, this is a bad sign right here. 2nd Brigade came back with only 631 men in it. 
Everybody else came back with a decent amount of numbers. I think all the New York brigades came back with next to nobody because there's nobody left in the state. I still be a few minutes yet, so I'll be back. Now 1,400, and we do have a detachment of cavalry coming forward at us. Uh, but the vedettes just have orders to just keep riding at us. Actually, the second time we're tussling with the vedettes. Yeah, no idea. What the hell are they doing? And I forgot to turn AI assist off again. Guns are not in the position I wanted them in. That's fine. We can work around that. Because I did want my guns out here on these heights. Supported by my cavalry. But that's just not going to happen now. We could have uh, gotten some flank shots in as they're coming down the road. No, do not go that way. Crap, I gotta have them come back down and around, don't I? Yep. Can't be helped. All those fences, it take them forever to get through there. They do have a decent sight line from here, forget that. Just stay here. They actually have a decent sight line there. You never know what sight line you're going to get when it comes to the artillery. It's always something different. The 30s moving into place. That morale's at 49. It's improved a little since the start. Two brigades of cavalry over here. Grimes. Or is he setting out another detachment? Setting out another detachment. Is that infantry moving against my cavalry? Get dismounted, boys. Get into loose order. We find if I could have got my artillery up here where I wanted it. Guys, get past them, please. Double time. Take your time getting into position. We got some beautiful sight lines. Now, did this affect the sight line of these 20s back here? No, it did not. Good. And they're all clumped up, so that's a beautiful target for the artillery. One of you guys is supposed to have sharps. Why don't you have sharps now? sent everybody home they lost their sharps that doesn't make sense I 
Okay, I'll come back down this brigade. Guess we move the uh, engineers into that gap. Sharps carbines are good, they just don't have good range. Yeah, keep pushing into them, forget it. Let's keep going. Yeah, I was ready to break. If I can push off this infantry and then charge into them with the uh, Pennsylvania Guard, which is a three-star cold steel brigade, we wreck some havoc on them. Decide to lay down. Now they're back up. No, they didn't lay down. I think it's just the weather. Have a slightly ranged. Okay. Don't range you, but barely. Let's push up and support. We just got these boys caught in a crossfire. Which I really happen to like. be able to see these guys without an issue. What the hell? Keep pushing up on them. Keep pushing forward, boys. Keep pushing forward. They really don't want to fight. We'll give it to them.
Broncos 1 Brigade. We are breaking them. I no idea of different movement orders. You boys. Come hit the back of Wise. Ah, oh, you got your battle flag now. In our game, we'll give him that flag. Pushing that division forward. Team Vanguard, you go with them. Pennsylvania Guard, time to do what you do best. Go get him, boys. Go give him the hand. Falling back while we're trying to charge him. This should not be allowed to do that. There we go. Let's break them, damn it. Another running battle. Just back at long range, please. Let this war go on a little long. These guys are actually able to get some good weaponry. The rebel side. Shooting that cavalry up, please. Now these guys reform. These guys should not be reforming when they're running away from a cavalry brigade.
Don't let them get away. Keep moving. Every time the rebels think they're going to be attacking me, I just turn it around on them. victory. Finish that brigade off, please. I had over 3,000 men in that brigade. 1,000 casualties with 2,200 men left. That's a big brigade. I didn't even check to see if the other core made it onto the field. The uh, rebels. No, they're still seven hours away. They're both still seven hours away. So it's a good thing I started this push. We're getting this battle before the other core show up.
major victory. They're still not fleeing. 40% casualties for them. Alright, Calvary, you can stop. Look like at glitching out a little anyway. Really focus in on Sherman's brigade. I honestly can't believe they still have not issued withdrawal. Are they waiting for the other corps to show up, but they don't have the morale left for it. There they go. The morale's done. There they go. Finally. We'll just speed this along. We're not going to be able to chase them down. Unless they want to hang out right here. Keep shooting. over here. Let's scrum this brigade. Bring me that brigade. are going to get away. Right, we'll just speed this along now. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So we took down 3,600 or 9,500 infantry, 300 or 2,700 cavalry. That cavalry brigade just did not want to fight at all. They never seemed to do. Got all 1,500 guns. Total us of 4,000 of their 12,000 men. We lost 1,148 of our 17,909. We had 12,000 infantry. But not 17,000. The other corps did not arrive. See, this doesn't count their unarrived corps. Ours does. We lost a total of 1,402 of the possible 21,830 we could have had on the field. Now let's take a quick look at the paperwork. Fourth Corps. Pennsylvania Guard did 539 to infantry, captured 606, 110 to cavalry, brigade total 1,255. Engineers did not fight. 13th Division, 2nd Brigade did 21 to infantry, only got one volley off towards the end there. 14th Division, Byzantine Vanguard did 374 to infantry, 53 to cavalry, 27 charts, so infantry total 455. Generic 2nd Brigade did 385 to infantry, took 163 prisoners, 59 to cavalry, 51 to artillery, patrol 668, division total 1,123. 12th Division, 2nd Brigade did 19 to infantry, 3rd Brigade did 358 to infantry, 7 to cav, 15 artillery, patrol 386. McDowell's Lumberjacks did 417 to infantry, 11 to cav, 6 to artillery, patrol 434, division total of 839. Thought they would have done a little better than that. Artillery Division, was for the most part in position this battle. Second U.S. Artillery did 10 to infantry, 3 to artillery, total 13. Fort Jefferson Garrison did 59 to infantry, 16 to cavalry, total 76. 
First Battery, Fortress Monroe, did 139 to Infantry, 19 to Cav, 24 to Artillery Patrol, 190. And Second Battery, Fortress Monroe, did 66 to Infantry, 5 to Cavalry, 3 to Artillery Patrol, 77. Division total, 356. Uh, officers, we lost one officer, the commander of the Pennsylvania Guard, was wounded. And we wounded Brigadier General Grimes, Major General Walker. That was it. Okay. One brigade commander, one division commander. I'll get closed out of here and I'll see you all at the newspaper screen. Glorious victory at the Battle of Frederick, or the Sixth Battle of Frederick. Army of Virginia is retreating in panic. The enemy's probably suffered total casualties of 3,736 men. There are 435 killed, 2,790 captured. Our casualties total 1,402 men, with 258 killed, 185 missing, and the rest are wounded. We captured 2,600 rifles, 6 guns from the field, and sent 2,647 soldiers off to our vacation camps. And it doesn't look like the rebels actually blamed that loss on anybody. And that shifted the power bar back in our direction just a little bit, it looks like. Let's get this battle rolled off. It was only a one-day affair, so it shouldn't take too long. That shit rolled off already. It did not go this late in the day. Why is that not rolled off? Weird. Okay. Here's the Battle of Marietta. Yeah. Something odd going on in my game files, it looks like. I don't like it when weird things happen in my game files. I do believe we will end this episode here. Actually, let's run the map just a little bit. I want to get us to March. See if we can uh, go through the month of March for the next episode. Yeah, this should be rolled off. It's not. This should be rolled off. Did we actually just issue a bond? Okay, something's weird in the game files. Is this showing a bond issuing? Oh, we're buying back bonds. Okay, so we're starting to buy back bonds. That's a very good sign for the economy. But this is still not a good sign. These battles are not being rolled off. It's now several days late. It's March 1st, actually. So uh, we will end this episode here. So we can open up the uh, next episode with the March monthlies. Even though I skipped the last few monthlies, nothing had really changed. But we are coming up on the uh, final days of Confederacy. Hopefully, April or May will see the end of this uh, campaign. We'll, we'll see. So, well, once again, if you're a new viewer, return view, if you're not yet subscribed, please think about hitting that subscribe button. If you do, remember that bell icon so when the next video comes out. Following along in the series and enjoying it, don't forget to bayonet that like button, butt stroke that comment section, get the algorithm working in our favor. And I will see you all at the next episode. Stay grumpy.